Alright gamers, what's going on? This is Bloody Pirate for PirateGaming.com and uh, welcome to the first episode of the Let's Play series. It's a brand new little show I'm going to start up, two or three videos a week, just playing random stuff for you to enjoy. Uh, since this is the first video, since I've updated the website to match the YouTube channel, you know, trying to make it like a news slash vlog, all that stuff, uh, I'd like to just start out by telling you my setup, what I use, uh, you know, devices, software, blah blah blah. Uh, to start out, I'm using the new capture card from Elgato. Uh, it's called the Game Capture HD. It's a USB 2.0 capture device that supports both component and HDMI inputs. I think that was the uh, the big selling point for me was when I saw the HDMI part with USB. I was sold as soon as I saw it. I pre-ordered it and I've never looked back. It's been the best device I've used all month. It's pretty much, you know, a nice little device for those looking to capture gameplay that may not have, you know, the most top of the line PC or maybe you're a mobile person and you're always on the go and you want to capture, you know, stuff to your laptop and with the USB function it, it, it helps out a lot. Um, the software that it comes with, it, it only works with the Elgato capture device and it's the best capturing software I've ever used and the main purpose for that is it pretty much runs like a DVR so if you're getting that great gaming moment that you know was awesome and say you're playing something in a campaign or whatever and you kill like five six guys and you didn't hit that record button you missed out with this device and this software all you have to do is move the slider back, hit record, and capture that moment. You'll never be without, you know, missing that great moment again. So, the other thing that, that's pretty much like a, uh, a, a great time saver is as soon as you're done capturing, you can go to the edit tab on the software, and you're able to edit the video on the fly. You can cut, trim, all that stuff, but you can also export straight to YouTube or to your favorite editing program like iMovie or Sony Vegas. Let's check this out since this is part of the story and we'll go from there. Is John Conrad the greatest man I ever served with? Well, I don't know. Remember when the first storms hit Dubai? You're probably all safe and sound at home watching TV. Instead of coming home, he volunteered his entire battalion to help with the evac. Rumor is Conrad was ordered to abandon the city. He defied that order, and the 33rd stood with him. Last thing we heard out of Dubai was that Conrad was leading a caravan of survivors out of the city. That was six months ago. Then, two weeks ago, we picked up this transmission. This is Colonel John Conrad, United States Army. Evacuation of Dubai. Hey, Cap. Captain Walker. What is it, Lugo? Got a situation, sir. Mission critical? No, sir. Then take it up the chain, Sergeant. Roger that. Lieutenant Adams. I hear you, Sergeant. What's your status? Status is chafed, sir. You say chafed, Sergeant? Yes, sir. A local airborne insurgency has infiltrated the U.S. zone designated as my pants. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, jackass. Gentlemen, welcome to Dubai. Yep. It's still dead. Yet to be seen, Sergeant. You got a lock on that transmission? Yes, sir. About 800 yards away. And we're 800 yards away from seeing who's more full of shit. You or Intel. Wow. If I wasn't a hardened killing machine, I might have hurt. All right, remember, this place has been designated a no-man's land. Means we're not supposed to be here, so let's do this by the books, okay? Roger, Dodger. Alrighty, and we're okay. back. Um, 
as you can see, we take control of Captain Martin Walker. Uh, basically, you and your two buddies here. Uh, you've been pushed into Dubai, and you're trying to locate John Conrad and any survivors and bring them back home. Uh, the environment looks stunning. It, it, you know, the dust and the sand and just to see Dubai and just complete destruction it, it, it looks really interesting how the sand has just taken over the entire city uh, not many games try to immerse you in a world where the desert is your main home as you can see there's some animals here right there and they're taking off like crazy but uh you know you got your standard pistol i believe m4 yeah m4 one your standard assault rifle and Let's just try and find this beacon, and hopefully we can uh, push forward through this demo. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to go ahead and showcase the whole thing, just because if, if you like what you see, you know, you definitely need to download it and play through it yourself. It's a full three-section demo. It's about a half hour long. Um, let's just uh, showcase some of the gunfights. Come on, let's get into killing people. Anyways, the full game comes out next week. Uh, 26 in the States. Uh, comes out on the 29th around the world. And just from the look of the environments and how well the Unreal Engine really pushes this game to its limits. I know they just uh, showcased the Unreal Engine 4 the other day. I believe it was on uh, Thursday or Wednesday of last week on GameTrailers.com on that, that GTTV on Spike. And sure, Unreal Engine 4 looks amazing and in hopes way, the way graphics are going to be going in the future. But just from looking at this, it's amazing how with just an Xbox 360 that's, that came out back in 2005 can still pull off graphics like this. Um, one of the greatest examples is go was uh, Gears of War 3 last year. And how that, that engine was really pushed to its max. And got a little bit of blood over here. So more than likely it's going to be a dead guy. That's just my guess. Body looks fresh. It is. Even worse, he's 33rd. Who did this? Probably the same people been ghosting us. What the hell was that? Don't worry. I think we're about to find out. As we all know, this game is supposed to be about six to eight hours long, so of course you have to run into some enemies somewhere. Captain Martin Walker. We're looking for survivors. Why? So you can kill us too? Fortunately, I got men that I'm right. You speak Farsi? Maybe we can understand each other better. I got in Torim half Bezanim. Good call, Lugo. This could go south real fast, Walker. Oh, shit. See that bus over there? Let's take him out. Let's take him out. And that's a great example right there of how the, the sand just puts you into the environment unlike any other game before I mean when you shot that when shot the windows out and all that sand fell down and just pushed dust all through the air I mean it, it, it's a beautiful game the uh, the reticles you know for what you see on the screen aren't the greatest uh, there's not much recoil at all uh, if you do get a headshot it usually uh, slows down really quickly uh, you can com command your teams like this you can just tell them you know if you you tap the RB button over them they're gonna stun them they're all going to go crazy like that and try and take everyone out and move forward. Uh, the game offers, you know, a lot of different types of gameplay options. Uh, you can go in, you know, you can use your st your silencer to try and stay stealthy or you can, you know, just go in guns blazing. But I, I really do like the fact that you're able to control your teammates, but not so much that they can't hold their own because they're they're very smart and they do take out enemies without you doing anything. So Here I 
And most of you are probably saying, wow, that was the most powerful sniper rifle shot ever, but uh, he was cooking a grenade when that happened, so it makes perfect sense. Let's see now. As long as we can just keep pushing forward. Yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah, here we get a quick little execution here. It's not much. It's not as cool as the other ones that are that are, that are offered when you actually shoot a guy in the head or something. The hell was that? I'm picking up a distress call. Batch it through. I will be uh, uploading the complete demo, and you can look for it in the uh, complete walkthrough section on the site. Since this is pretty much, you know, just a quick little demonstration of what you can expect from the game. Uh, you know, lots of different things. You have a cover system. You have a slip out and go back into cover. You can do all kinds of stuff. It, it has a very Gears of War type of feeling. That's why it's been compared to it so much. But uh, it, what's nice is uh, it, it's not this futuristic cog versus locust feeling. I mean, you know, you, you have the humans here against real humans in a situation where all you're there to do is find someone and take them home. But it turns into something so much more than that. It, it's a fight for survival and you just need to try and stay alive. If you can hear me, we're approaching your position. Yeah, I'm glad I wasn't a part of that plane. Are you hurt? That would have been a crappy you? ride. Okay, stay cool. We're almost there. What do we got? Our guys are pinned down in the fuselage. And let's keep going. Nothing like heading towards an explosion, right? And let's do this quietly. One of the things that you really need to pay attention to in this game is your ammo count. Because uh, I will definitely say, as I was playing through the demo... You know, the first time, I, I really wasn't paying attention, and you would think just by, you know, trying to pick up an AK or whatever, if there was a gun on the ground, it may give you some ammo, and that is not the case in this game at all. It, if you do not find the same weapon, you will not get ammo. I mean, there are ammo boxes laying around, but they come in, you know, pretty much after each firefight scene that you can run into. So, like, in this part... You can see me running around. I passed up an AK, and I shouldn't have. I really should have picked it up. But I didn't. And you would think trying to kill a guy would not be so hard. There we go. Yay. Okay. Let's move on. Again, guys, I would really appreciate, since, since this is uh, the first video that I am putting up with my commentary and everything, uh, leave comments below. Let me know how the settings are, you know, the video quality, audio quality, my voice, everything. You know, j just make sure that I know everything is good, because once I set something up, I'm going to save some presets and I'm going to run with it. You know, I mean, occasionally I will make some changes, and... I, I like to set up one thing and not change it later, just so that I know I can be more efficient and get more videos out faster, and that's really what I'm going for here. Alright. Sidearm is really accurate in this game.
even though he kind of just like kicked me in the head. Guys, I think I'm gonna cut it out here. You're gonna have to talk fast, boss. This is the first of the three sections of the demo, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to play it, download it on the marketplace or the PlayStation Network, and the game comes out next week. This is Bloody Pirate signing off for PirateGaming.com. I will catch you next time. Nest, nest, nest. All right, good. And what about Conrad? Is he still alive? Lugo, mark the bodies on tag. Adams, check outside for tracks. <sighs> I want to know what the hell is going on in this city. Got multiple tracks headed north. Then we follow them.